Order. Send us Seward. Thank you, Mr. President. Mr. President, my question is to the Minister for Finance, Senator Cormann. Last week in this chamber, I asked about the emergency relief for young people who will be left without income support um, for six months under the Earn and Learn measure. The, then, the Assistant uh, Social Services Minister said this government makes no apologies for directing $229 million to ER because it is adding to the social security safety net. But then this government has cut $240 million out of the discretionary grants program in social securities, not because of clear duplication, but because it was a, quote, a decision of government. Is it correct that the program savings, which are now largely being redirected to ER it, uh, to offset the, uh, the government's cruel budget measures, were found by simply pulling the existing funding and cutting an arbitrary amount from those discretionary grants? And how does the minister justify cutting this discretionary grant program and, and with it a wide range of preventative programs that would in fact help young people get a better start in life? The Finance Minister, Senator Cormann. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Mr President. I thank Senator Seward uh, for that question. And the first thing I would say uh, is that when we came uh, into government, we inherited from the Labor Green administration that preceded us a debt and deficit disaster that needed fixing. And when we went to the last election, we, we said we would fix the budget mess left behind by the Labor Green administration, and we are doing exactly that. Uh, we inherited uh, one Sen hundred Senator Cormann, resume your seat. When there's silence on my left, we will proceed. When there's silence, we'll proceed. When there's silence, we'll proceed. Senator Cormann. Thank, thank you very much, uh, Mr. President. Uh, Labor and the Greens left behind $191 billion of cumulative deficits after their first five budgets. But they left behind another $123 billion in projected uh, deficits in their last budget. They were taking us to $667 billion of government debt within the decade and rising beyond. They left a situation where we have to pay $1 billion a month just in interest to service the debt that Labor and the Greens accumulated over six years in government. And of course, what we have done uh, is transparently there for all to see in the budget. Uh, we have ensured that our spending growth trajectory is more Order, sustainable, Senator is more Cormann. affordable, we'll is more realistic. Resume your seat, Senator Cormann. Order. 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 So, wait a minute, Senator Seaver. I'll give you the call. Senator Seaver. I've left it till halfway through the minister's answer to actually see if he's going to get to my question, and he hasn't. So could you please remind the minister uh, the question I asked specifically about the discretionary grants program. I, I do draw the minister's attention to the question, and the minister has 56 seconds remaining. The minister. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. President. As always with these questions, it's important to provide appropriate context uh, for the answer. And the context, of course, is that we inherited from Labor and the Greens a debt and deficit disaster that needs to be fixed in the national interest. Now, when it comes, when it comes to young people under 30, uh, we have unashamedly got a policy position that it is not appropriate for young people that are able and capable to work, that are healthy and fit, uh, to walk straight out of schools onto the door. We happen to think that if you are able and fit and if you are capable to work, you should work, you should earn or learn, and of course our policies uh, in the budget uh, provide for that. And of course we have put appropriate safety nets uh, around that to ensure that people in genuine need of support uh, continue to have that support. Now, in relation to the specific uh, question that was asked about, about grants, uh, programs, of course, as always, uh, this government is committed to ensuring that all government spending is as efficient and as effective and well targeted as possible. Time has expired. Resume your seat.